MMA Boxing Talk here. I just wanted to put out a quick video talking about the announcement that came out today. Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev, the rematch. It's on for June 17th of this year. I believe it's June 17th. Cannot wait. Um, finally, the rematch is on. You know, they fought back in November. Um, I mean, it shouldn't take this long, especially when you have a, a you know, they have a rematch clause. In their original terms, they had a rematch clause. And, you know, they only announce it in April. The next year, they fought last November. You know what I mean? It just, that's Andre Ward just trying to delay it. And not only delay it, but Andre Ward needed to change the terms for this rematch. Because the original terms, Andre Ward, well, we all know that Andre Ward is not a man of his word. He always goes back on his contracts that he signs every single time. I mean, he's been to court more than once because of a contract dispute. And here he is again with Kovalev, you know, not wanting to honor the original contract. Had a rematch clause. But Ward is going gonna, is gonna to have the rematch with Kovalev. But Ward had to change the terms so he gets more he, he gets compensated more so in other words Andre Ward's gonna make more money than he did in the first fight and I believe in their first fight Andre Ward made five million as the challenger and the champion Sergey Kovalev only made two million but that's not gonna be good enough for Ward in the rematch so I mean Kovalev's gonna make even less in the rematch Ward's gonna make even more I believe plus the pay-per-view buys will do more it was a good fight their first fight but uh, just ridiculous, you know. Andre Ward, just not a man of his word, period. And uh, But it is what it is. I'm happy this fight's going down. Um, we have a lot, lots to look forward to in boxing. You know, a lot of big fights coming up. But this is definitely one to mark on your calendar. Um, it'll be worth the pay-per-view, the price of admission. I mean, this fight is interesting because Sergey Kovalev, Suffered his first loss as a professional. You know, he was definitely a little bit passive in the first fight. I mean, he, he did enough to win. You know, 75% of the, the boxing world thought he won. Um, and this time, he has something to prove. It's going to be very interesting. And personally, I don't see Andre Ward doing any better than he did in the first fight. I don't see him overachieving their first fight. Um, I mean, he did the best he could in that first fight. And that was against a Kovalev who wasn't, you know, obviously not aggressive enough, you know. And not that Andre Ward outworked Kovalev, but close enough to, to give a certain couple rounds to Andre Ward and give him that gift decision. It was a close fight, you know. It was a good fight. But you can't tell me that Andre Ward won seven of those rounds. You can't tell me that Andre Ward won more rounds than Kovalev did. I could understand maybe if you said Ward won six of the rounds, Kovalev won six. Okay, I accept that. But with Kovalev's knockdown in the second round, he wins the fight. I mean, the, the idea that Ward won seven of, seven of the 12 rounds just mind boggles me. I mean, what are you looking for when you're scoring rounds? You know? Like... Do effective punches mean anything to you? Effective aggressiveness? I mean, I just don't see how Ward can beat Kovalev in the rematch. I don't see how he can do any better. Um, he's not going to be able to box Kovalev. He's not stronger. He's not going to be able to muscle Kovalev. The only thing I could really see is, is Andre Ward just being more dirty. Using more dirty tactics in this in the rematch, and this is just honest opinion. I mean, go back and watch that first fight. It's ridiculous. People that think you know Andre Ward won seven or eight rounds, it's insane. But anyway, I'm glad the rematch is happening. I cannot wait for this. You know, can't wait for June. Uh, there's also a great UFC card in June. Anderson Silva's fighting on the card. Jose Aldo, Max Holloway. But, uh, but, I mean, boxing, a lot of great fights coming up. We have Lomachenko fighting Jason Sosa this weekend. We have 
At the end of the month, we have Anthony Joshua taking on Vladimir Klitschko. <laughs> That's a massive fight. I cannot wait for that one. We're only a few short weeks away now. Um, in May, you know, we have, I believe, Terrence Crawford's fighting in May. And uh, we also have, of course, Cal Brook versus Earl Spence Jr. on May 27th in Sheffield. Can't wait for that one. That is huge for the welterweight division. Hopefully the winner will, will immediately fight Keith Thurman or Manny Pacquiao. And be one step closer to getting a unified champion in boxing. First time since 2005. I mean, boxing needs an undisputed. I said unified. Unified, yeah. Undisputed, though, is what. I'll have all four belts, you know. Because Kel Brook, Earl Spence, the winner's going to have the IBF. You fight Keith Thurman, and you get the WBC and WBA, the winner of that fight. So the winner would have three titles, you know, if Kel Brook, Earl Spence, junior winner, fights Thurman, and then fight Pacquiao for, for all the marbles. That would be something, you know, or the other way around. doesn't matter. But that's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMABoxingTalk1. Peace.